Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be moving my Campanotius Fedchenko colony into this new 3D printed nest, which I made. And I decided as soon as it's one of the first versions of this nest, I'd test it out to see what are the pros and what are the cons so in the future I can make better versions. And I've already got some changes in mind such as adding a sponge to the hydration chamber, printing it using a different layer thickness so it's a bit smoother, and the biggest one of all, using the acrylic that I actually meant to use, which is 5mm thick and cut professionally, not this. As when it's 5mm thick, all the dimensions will add up perfectly, so then when it goes on a heat mat or cable, it will be perfectly heated and not like elevated above it. And for any new viewers here, this is the Fedchenko Conley, and yes, they have grown a lot since their last update. And they went from having only 2 or 3 mages and now when I look in there's about 20. So it's safe to say that this colony is growing pretty well. And now that they've grown so much the queen is doing great as she feels a lot safer in her nest. Well that is at least when they're in the dark. And you can see the amount of brood that these guys have, as their entrance is almost completely blocked off with baby ants. But that's not all, as they even have brood in the ant world. So I'm going to connect the nest to this 4-way connector. And I'll cover up their old nest so they don't get stressed out by the light and really I don't want them to move out, I just want them to move in. And it's only a matter of time before the ants find the nest and start exploring. And here we have it, the first worker exploring the nest and laying down a pheromone trail for more ants to come and explore. So what I'll do is I'll cover the nest in some red acrylic as they can't see the colour red and then I'll put on a time lapse of them moving it. And after about half an hour, not much has happened and they haven't started moving brood, which is kind of expected as I'd be quite surprised if they moved brood into a nest after only half an hour of knowing it. But as the time goes on, the chances of them moving in only goes higher and higher. After only 3 hours of the nest being in, more workers are coming in and there are even going to be some repletes. And after only one day, mages and workers have moved in and it's only a matter of time before Brood gets moved. And although there are tons of workers in this nest, if you look into the outworld or the Wakushi nest, you'll see tons of workers in there as well. So this colony has just exploded. And here you have a great shot of the cocoons that have been moved in. And they're filling up almost half of the nest, which is a great sign. And because of the reaction from this colony, I'd say that this nest was a huge success, so more iterations are to come. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.